But as the uh, concierge to small business loans, I think I just read somewhere and completely could be wrong. But SBA is really going after kind of a smaller loan amount potentially. Is that is that true? Yeah, they're making they're making a huge push. They want to the really the initiative is to help small business owners and they want to help the demographic that's going to be buying businesses or starting businesses under 500,000. So the guidelines mm-hmm. for loans under 500,000 are loosened up. It's a quicker underwriting process. They're opening up the licensing so there's going to be more lenders that can lend. Not it's not going to be thousands, but there'll be more lenders that will be able to to lend these small balance SBA 7A loans and the SBA express loans. So it's an opportune time to get finance. Like it's, there's a push, there's initiatives for it. They, you know, the beautiful thing about the United States is that we have programs like this. All right. Like I'm going to go get 90% financing, which includes working capital, the purchase price, all the things to fix up the business. I only need to come in with 10%, 10%. 50 yeah. grand on a $500,000 deal, right? And that $50,000 doesn't even have to come from me. It can come from Zuber, who's my partner. He owns 10% of the business. There's exactly. never been a bigger time. But I also think, too, is the other big thing is, is listen, you're not going to magically go buy a business and it's going to magically run itself. There's work that needs to be done. And, and, and we have a saying on one run all at a time, right? Do the work, right? Do the work. It's the same thing. Nothing changes. If you listen to the one rental at a time strategy, it's the same thing, except a little bit different because it's a business. The difference between buying a rental property is that a business has more moving parts. The the hardest part about rental properties is the beginning and maybe you have to do some fix up and tenant, right? But Mm -hmm. after that, you have a property manager. It's pretty darn passive. Where a business is a business. You can, you can have an executive model where there's a general manager and things like that, but you still have to work on the business. You have to have those skill sets. Yeah, I totally agree. You know what? We're going to make that video number two. We're going to paint the picture of a busy professional and talk about what, what might someone buy if time is the problem. I think that'd be very interesting. 